look at this. After doing budgeting, this is just a glance of after learning this entire chapter, what we're really looking at. After carrying out the plan and comparing it against budget, this is a performance report that later on we'll be learning how to do one of these. Okay, but just by looking at this, what kinds of information can you tell from this? In terms of actually carrying it out, compared against the original budget. We have it probably not say left over because if you look at the actual numbers and then you compare it with the original budget, that means we're actually missing certain dollar amounts, right? Because we over budgeted, yes. So you originally planned to get operating income $487,000, but at the end, this is the actual number you got. So it's actually slightly lower than $3,000 lower than the original budget. And where does that difference come from, mainly? You can see some of the numbers are exactly the same, right? Variable expenses are different, and variable expenses are different because of chapter 19. You have different types of costs. Variable expenses will be different because the number of services or the number of sales is different. Right? So your expected service providing, you're expecting to provide it to 20,000 customers, at the end, you only got 19,000 customers. So you have lower number of services, lower service revenue, which is why your all the variable costs are lower than expected, right? Because variable cost floats with sales, flows with service revenue. Okay, so as opposed to that concept, what about fixed expenses? It's exactly the same, right? Remember, fixed expenses usually doesn't change unless we bump into a next relevant range. Right, we expand the business so that it really needs to depreciate a lot more than before. Otherwise, even though service sales are not the same as what we budgeted, this portion here, which relates to depreciation, relates to full-time employees' salary contract, will still be the same. Okay? So this is just a heads up for what we're trying to do at the end is getting to one of these. Doing one of the um, performance report, understanding what is our goal, and then after carrying out the projects, what are the differences, the variance between these two? Okay. 